Hey peeps, it's Adam Stone once again. So I just want you know, let me go get the light better here in just a second. Oh, there you go. Okay. Hopefully the light's better there. Uh, I, I decided to set my phone back. I usually just hold it by hand, but anyway, uh, not to get too sidetracked here. So what I want to talk with y'all about today, or this morning at 7:30 a.m. Pacific time is the Young Turks. And let me explain something to you about them. They're as bad a rumor mill as Alex Jones's uh, whatever Infowars is. And I know some of you are going to say, oh, but Alex Jones has a good report, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I disagree with you, okay? I don't agree with Alex Jones. I don't agree with this David Seaman guy. For example, if David Seaman's claims involving Pizzagate are real, then why is it that Trump, the FBI, and the Metro DC haven't investigated? It's that simple, guys. If there's no law enforcement in Washington, D.C. itself investigating, there's no freaking point in complaining about it unless maybe you've got a private investigator, maybe you got Dinesh D'Souza on it, I don't know. I mean, I'll put it this way to you. I definitely would agree with Dinesh D'Souza that that whole psychological counseling thing yeah, typical COINTELPRO BS so I, I don't blame him I can't um, I well let's just say I didn't necessarily think it was as bad as he made it out to be in his film but what I am going to say is now that we've seen her lose Shillery has gone the mess um, and I think Dinesh D'Souza is, he did make a good point about the history of the Democratic Party, but the Democratic Party has undergone at least two realignments. Uh, first, the Democratic Party was, in fact, the party of slavery in 1860. That, my friends, was 1860. <laughs> that was 160 years ago. So that's irrelevant now. Um, and I like to point that out first and foremost. Uh, secondly, um, as it involves the what happened afterwards, of course, nineteen thirties. Uh, you know, Franklin Delano Roosevelt comes around, and that's where us democratic socialists started. Uh, that's where us, or us, who mostly demigs it, unless you're stupid like the Young Turks. And I'll get back to them in a minute. Uh, but ultimately, now, the Democratic Party has gone from a socialist um, economic principle to one functionally based on big pharma and big oil and Soros and uh, the idea that it's acceptable to bilk people out of their livelihoods. This is unacceptable. So I like to make that extremely clear. Uh, and so this is why I had to demand it. I didn't have the option or liberty to decide whether or not I was going to vote for a lesser of two evil. And Trump is the lesser of two evils. Uh, you can make claims of racism and sexism all you want. That's just trying to destroy the underlying economic problems that Shillery could never address because her receiving money from big prisons her receiving money from Wall Street. You cannot represent these claims and be taken seriously when you have a public and a private position. Yes, I will become new H.A. Goodman. Okay, so be it. No, actually, that's where I go back to Young Turks now. Young Turks, as I said, is a rumor mill as bad as Alex Jones is with two to three times the viewer fan base. Why is this significant? Because their attempt to go to war with the DNC is like a fucking child kicking at your parents. I'm sorry. That's the truth of the matter. They're not going to win. The Young Turks are not going to win. Nor is the DNC, by the way. They're going to miserably lose. They're going to turn out like the Republican Party did for the 50 years that the Democratic Socialist Party was running under FDR. So... With that stated, um, the idea that Anna Kasparian is going to get a foot porn job is about his only credibility I think she's ever going to get. 
And that's just an inside joke for those of you who don't, who don't know already. Uh, but, you know, you can be salty over the loss of shitlery all you like. Uh, but ultimately, the lack of an economic argument, and, and specifically my comments and posting on uh, Maduro of Venezuela and the Honduras military dictatorship and how that aligns with Chinese uh, narcotics production of fentanyl being purchased online by Mexican drug cartels, and then they uh, add that as filler to heroin and cocaine, and then they kill you with it. Basically, the claims of white genocide cannot be said to have been... I, I have not seen enough evidence to suggest that the federal government was directly involved. I think rather the federal government would rather have had Big Pharma enter that and do that instead of the drug cartels. But of course, someone else is going to try to make a much cheaper version. And you know, the doctor throws you a Viking and now you're stuck going and fetching heroin. That's what happens, guys, that's what happens. So, I hate to have to break it to you, but that's why it's so good that cannabis will be legalized because it destroys the entire narcotics industry from drug cartels in Mexico to the old cocaine industry in South America, wherever it happens to be, Central America, whatever, all the way to Big Pharma in Canada. So I'll just put it that way to you. We, that's why we need the cannabis industry because hallucinogens and psychedelics destroy narcotics. That's what we need. Aspirin, however, is an anti-inflammatory. It is not a narcotic. So I wish to remind y'all about that too. But again, back to the Young Turks. So their attempts at hit pieces on Tim Black and H.A. Goodman are a miserable failure. You can call me the fringe left all you want. I do this as a hobby. I don't get paid to do this. In fact, I intentionally use vulgarities just to prevent advertisements from appearing on my channel. I love it that much because I get to laugh all the way back home without even having to worry about going to the bank because I don't do this for the bank. I do this because I freaking get laughs out of this afterwards. So that's for all of my wonderful viewers who will come across who are not brainwashed by shitlery zombie drain brain. Now, with that stated, in, the Young Turks, they can go ahead and say all they want to. I'm not subscribed to them. I unsubscribed them. In fact, the first person I unsubscribed to was the Argentinian Hezbollah agent Islamophobe, David Pumpkin. Now, David Pumpkin is a different individual, but I like that guy and how he uh, accidentally came up with an insult on behalf of that stupid Zionist. Uh, so I will go ahead and uh, say that he probably wouldn't join the Trump or Thumpers by now. Or, or specifically, he joined Tulsi Gabbard's Islamophobia clique, clique in there. Uh, that's probably why they didn't choose him. Because they were all there like, well, she has credibility by going after Schittlery, but yada, 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 yada. I don't know what the reason was. I don't care. To me, she's an Islamophobe. So some people disagree with me, and that's okay. Questions of whether or not Keith Ellison has relations with the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, I don't know. But what I do know is, is that the Nation of Islam is recognized by all other uh, uh, Muslims as kufr. It's not legitimate to other Muslims like us. It's not... Um, it, it, we don't say that they aren't good people or good intentions, but... Very similar to the Maggie clergy, they have a central leader, and they think that guy's God. And we remind them that he is of inanimate context because he's guardian of the garden of the uh, afterlife domain. So uh, for those who reject the afterlife, 
I will uh, await to see you there in death. So with that stated, uh, I usually don't make videos this long, but I had to go into a full explanation involving why the Young Turks is a miserable journalistic failure. Anyway, uh, that's as uh, much as I'm going to speak on the Young Turks for right now. I'm going to be doing a couple more videos upcoming, so stay tuned. 775 to 9. May the peace be with you.